Hello and welcome to Pam's Piggy Bank and Money Box collection and we haven't got any theme at all for this week we've just got random and these two are just about as random as they get we have a beautiful very heavy working boot similar to what they would have worn in the 30s i'm not suggesting it was made in the 30s but it is very much the 30s style with remarkably long shoe laces with it is it's even got the little ends on the laces so i think that's brilliant and this one is i want to say the tiger who came to tea i hope he isn't thinking i'm gonna feed him well apart from the odd coin so both of these have been up in the attic. That means they're both pre-1996 or 7, because that's the box they came out. It's been up there since mid-90s. Uh, so it makes them both quite old. They're both lovely. As I say, this one is very heavy and this one is really cute. Got this lovely little tiger, and it says on the sign in front of his cage, Please feed me. But in order to feed him, you can either twiddle, oh, sorry, tiger, I nearly broke your nose, until you can get the slot to be between the two bars, which is quite difficult, or you can take bravery in hand and very gently. Let him out of his cage. So as I say, they're both quite old. This one has got a really wide slot, but quite a small stopper. I'm seeing this more and more that some money boxes have got very big slots for this that size of their stoppers, which means that if you put a big 50p in, for example, it's very unlikely you'll get it out. Let me see. Oh, I got a two pound coin. Oh, well, you you will get a two pound coin out, and you will get a modern fifty p, but possibly not one of the older ones because they are a little bit bigger. This stopper, look at it, bless it. It's in terrible condition, and to be honest, I often clean the outsides, but I don't clean the insides very often. And going back to the tiger, we've got. It's lovely. It's Not only is it painted, but you can actually feel the ridges on it. It's got a big slot. It's got a nice stopper. And it's just a lovely piece of work. So there we have them. So that's all for today. Not very exciting, but I love them both. And that is very much in the style of the old lady who lived in a shoe. Should have a little doorway there for them to move in. Um, but enough of that nonsense. Thank you for watching. Thank you um, for being here. I hope you'll come back another day. And until then, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe. And thank you for joining me. And bye-bye.